Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. We are working on the garage today. Uh, as you've noted in previous uh, videos, the uh, spray foam insulation is up. Uh, we're now getting to the point of putting up walls and then putting up electricity. Uh, the electricity will be coming shortly, but first I've got a little bit of light in here enough to get to work as you can see. So what we're going to do is we're going to start hanging sheetrock. This presents a little bit of a problem because as I'm sure you're aware, sheetrock is four by eight, four, uh, four feet wide. These studs are five feet across, meaning that the sheetrock cannot mount to the metal studs. What I've decided to do is I bought some one befores and I am going to be stringing them up along here all the way around the building to mount my sheetrock to. So let's get to work. Okay, a few hours later, and it's a messy job as you can see, a few hours later and stage one of this is done. And yes, I know it's not completely level, but you gotta remember this is just to hold the sheetrock in place. It is not meant to uh, be seen at all. I've got those run all the way around the uh, building now, of course, with the exception of in that corner and here and here, which I think I'm going to actually leave that alone. Uh, being eight foot boards and uh, five foot uh, spaces between the beams, of course, you're gonna run into areas where I had a couple of these uh, studs that only had one beam bolted to it. So what I've done is I've taken some truss plates and I've strengthened it. That way it is nice and stiff all the way around. Uh, where it is needed. Case in point, this right here, these two boards right here are ones that only have one, tr one beam holding them in place. So I did the truss supports on it and they are nice and stiff. The next step up is going to be getting the drywall up. I'm gonna start getting all of that in position here in just a moment and let my battery on my drill charge because uh, drilling into these uh, steel beams has uh, taken a lot. Boy, that's disgusting. Don't put stuff in your mouth, kids. Uh, the um, drill has got to charge because as I was stating, it takes a lot of torque getting it into the steel beams. My battery is down, so I'm going to position the sheetrock, that right there, all the way around the building, have it ready to get put up, and then we will go from there. Always fun being outside and your glasses darken and you're trying to shoot a video inside where there's no lights currently, but we have progress and uh, let me show you what we've gotten done. Most of the sheetrock is up and ready to go. We, uh, actually I, no we to it, it's just me today, have gotten all of the stuff up, screwed up, ready to go. The next step is going to be starting to put up electrical outlets on the walls and wire those in so I can have some electricity out here. Well, as luck would have it, I did not get to the electricity this weekend. I uh, ran out of time. I had some stuff to do with the house, which I'll show you in just a moment, but the uh, walls are up. Uh, I am ready to start bringing up cars. Fortunately, this is a very large uh, shop, so I'm going to be able to bring the cars up as soon as I can. I had tried to get some gravel laid today to uh, get my driveway finished, but unfortunately the, the area around it, uh, the incline is too wet. The dump truck almost got stuck, so we're going to have to wait until it dries out a little bit before I can do that. But in the meantime, I'm going to be bringing cars up on the next trip. Uh, we got the walls up. I've got, as far as everything left in the garage i've got to do the uh, ac outlets i've got to do the lights overhead which i'm going to need a scissor lift for i just don't feel safe getting on this ladder back here getting up there to mount the lights yes i'm checking but it is what it is uh so i'm going to go ahead and uh get a scissor lift on the next trip as well uh as far as that goes getting ready to leave for the day and as you can see it's quite bright out here Lock the place up. And let me show you what else we did today. As you guys are aware, I do have dogs and a cat, but that's neither here nor there. He's an indoor cat. Eventually, we are going to fence off this entire yard all the way over to the driveway and down to the house. But that's going to take time and money. So what I did in the meantime is I purchased this off Amazon. It is a uh, area for the dogs to go out do their business so we can clean it up afterwards and keep them confined because this is a very uh, robustly wild neighborhood around here. A lot of people leave their dogs out running around, which I'm not a fan of. 
So we've got this to keep our dogs nice and safe. I spent most of the day putting this together. And also, I got to play Mr. Plumber today because, uh, well, frankly, anytime I move into a new house, the one thing I insist on is a brand new toilet uh, for obvious reasons. So I replaced both of the toilets today in the house. So that plus the dog pen plus all the walls, this has been a very full 36-hour period. So I am about to head south. Thank you for joining me. Be sure and stay tuned. we got more content coming.